right in the front there. Dylan, you're going to go three, four, five, and six, okay? Great. So my presentation is called Ability in 2013. Yeah, to start us off, what do these four people have in common? They are Emily Dickinson, Ashley Fisher, Julie Caesar, and Carrie Fisher. Well, they're all people with disabilities. Um, Emily Dickinson had depression, Ashley Fisher has ADHD, Julius Caesar had epilepsy, and Carrie Fisher has bipolar disorder. So a little bit about me. I was diagnosed with a brain tumor back in 2002 um, and became physically disabled. My left side is weaker than my right, so I walk with a limp and recently had surgery to make some of my fingers move in my left hand. Um, I'm also visually impaired, so if I'm looking at this side of the room, everyone here is either Brad Pitt or Angelina Jolie, because I can't see them. Um, and I have also two learning disabilities, dyslexia and dysgraphia. Um, so that's a little bit about me. And also I've done statewide, um, local and international disability efforts. So um, locally I did I helped pass through the Youth Commission, um, the, what's it called? Um, the Child or Children's Bill of Rights. Statewide, I passed the Disability History Week campaign legislation, and internationally, I did the Silver Scorpion. So, um, in this presentation, you will see. Um, the disability is can be either visible or invisible. Disabilities um, for people with disabilities have made significant gains in employment and in rights during the last century, and um, the community is out in the open today. So disability crosses every socioeconomic class, age, race, gender. Um, and sexual orientation. It is everywhere, it permeates every societal construct. And um, there are, it's about 22% of the US population, which is about 65 million people. A lot of people. So here are a few examples of people with disabilities who are out there working today. This is Rebecca Copley. She has worked for the Obama administration and helped him get elected. She's currently working on um, in the health sector of the administration. And that's um, Lauren Potter. You might recognize her from Glee. She plays the character Becky. She's a person who has Down syndrome. Um, and one more example, this is Mia Shakovitz. Um, she is a reality star in the show Push Girls, and she's also a graphic designer. And um, <clears throat> so here's some, legis or some legislation that I referenced here that's been passed to help people with disability gain rights are <coughs> Section 504 which was a piece of disability legislation that helped people gain employment and find accommodations in post-secondary education. The Americans with Disabilities Act, which was the signature legislation that's now been replicated throughout the world. And um, Disability History Week, which is something I helped pass in the state that um, allows future generations to learn about disability history and how it's impacted the United States and the world. <coughs> So this is Kathleen Campisi. She's a great example of how these legislations have helped change and shape her life. She um, is a person with disability. She has um, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. She um, was diagnosed at age 10 and became physically disabled. She um, went to grades K through 12, got her PhD, and was director of the Department of Rehabilitation, which is a organization that helps people with disabilities gain employment through um, helping pay for their education, setting them up with jobs, and helping them with interview skills. So today the community is seen out in the open, and 
hasn't always been this way. There were some laws called the Ugly Laws that were in Chicago and San Francisco and 22 other major cities in the United States that um, actually said no person that is maimed, deformed, or seen as an unsightly object should be allowed to go out in public. So people with disabilities in these cities could get arrested if they were outside having dinner, going out to try to find a job, anything like that. Um, and a, a very vicious stereotype um, are that people with disabilities are a drain on the system because some of us, um, some of us um, do rely on social security for our means of income and how to pay rent and how to um, how to live our lives. And it is true that some people do cheat, but the majority of people who are on social security do make a difference and. Um, are getting their education, doing internships, trying to get ahead. And a lot of them pay back um, what they take now. So um, a way that people with disabilities are viewed are to be pitied. That is um, what you should not do. And what you should do instead is internally acknowledge that the person, if they are, if you can visually see that they're disabled, acknowledge it internally and then move on, like those posters say, um, with the little crown that says, keep calm, carry on. That's my suggestion. So things in the media are changing. With Glee, we're hiring more disabled actors to play the other characters, like Lauren Potter, who plays Becky, and Allie Stroker, who was in the last episode, the blonde, um, in the wheelchair. And the show Push Girls is a reality show that's now on MTV, or it's on the Sundance channel. So I feel like um, we're positively breaking down these stereotypes. Um, accessibility, um, now that the baby boomers are aging, there's more of a push for accessibility because um, they've been raised, the best generation ever, you know, they took us to the moon, there was a lot of pieces of legislation passed, um, and this doesn't just stop because they're getting older. So in conclusion, people with disabilities have made significant gains in the past century. Um, we've made a big difference, and we've changed society's point of view.